everyone. In this video, we're going to go over how you can record your WebEx meeting. Now, I've already got my WebEx meeting started here, and if I wanted to record this meeting, all I need to do is go down to this little record button and click on it. Now, keep in mind, the only person that has the ability to record a session is the host. So your participants will not have this option to record the session. You'll notice when I click on the record button, I do have this little drop down menu next to record in cloud. This is because WebEx gives you two options to either record on your computer or record in cloud. If you choose to record in cloud, those recordings will be saved on the WebEx website and you'll be able to gather a link for them to send to anyone and share those recordings after your session has ended. If you do choose to record on your computer, it'll save to your computer directly and will not be accessible on the WebEx website. But keep in mind, there are some differences between what will be included in this recording after all is said and done. If you do choose to record on your computer, your chat panel, as well as any files you share using the share file option will not be included in the recording. So if you are using the share file option, which is here at the bottom, anything you share using this will not be shared later on. So you wanna keep that in mind and preferably use the record in cloud option. This way everything stays all in one place and everything you want to share will be shared with your participants. When you're ready to start recording, you want to go ahead and click on the red button here that says record. But before you do so, just make sure you let your participants know that you are planning on recording this session and that way they are aware that they're being recorded. So I'm going to click the red button. It'll start recording for me automatically. And then I can either choose if I want as I'm recording through my session, I can pause my recording at any time. I can also stop my recording if I choose not to record this session. But as you go along, you can carry along with your session as normal and you don't have to make any other changes. Once your session ends, it will take up to 24 hours for your recording to generate, but then you will get an email letting you know when that recording is ready for you to view. So now we're going to talk about how we can view those recordings, see where they are, and I'm also going to show you how you can share that recording on your Moodle page. So here I am at the home page after I've logged into WebEx, and let's say that I have received an email from WebEx letting me know that my recording is ready to view. All I need to do to view that recording is click on recordings here on the left hand side and then find the one that I'm looking to view. In this case, let's take a look at the Moodle Basics webinar. And if I click on this link here, it will open that recording for me to view. But if I wanna share that recording with others, I can click on this little share button here and not only will I be able to put in the email addresses of the people I want to share it with, but I can also copy and paste this link anywhere that I would like to share it with my students. So that's an example that we're going to go over now because I wanna show you how you can take this link and add it to your Moodle page. Now you can do this the long way and highlight this entire link. I just clicked a few times to make sure the whole thing was highlighted and I used my keyboard shortcuts to copy it. But you can also use this little rectangle here that says copy URL and that will copy the link to your clipboard and allow you to paste it where you would like to paste it. So in this case, I'm going to go to my Moodle page and show you how I would add this to my Moodle course. Now I have my Moodle course open here, and what I want to do for this is since I decided to copy that link, I want to integrate a link into my Moodle course. So the first thing I want to do is click in my gear in the upper right hand corner, press turn editing on, and this will allow me to edit the page, and then I can scroll down to wherever I want to add this link to. So let's say I want to add it into this section here, and I can click add an activity or resource, scroll down, and click on URL. Press add and then we're going to give it a name. So in this case, we could just name it Class WebEx, and this is where I would paste that external URL. Now, if you did use that little button that copied the link to your clipboard, you'll see if I paste it and I go back to the beginning, it says Moodle Basics Webinar. We don't need any of this information. We need it to just start with the HTTPS. So I'm just going to erase all this and make sure that there's no space in between the beginning and where the H begins. So now you wanna make sure the H is right up at the beginning there. And then when you're all set, you just click save and return to course. Now when your students come into your Moodle class, they'll be able to click on this link that you provided for them and view that recording that you made during your WebEx session. 
I hope that you found this video helpful in regards to recording your WebEx session. Not only does this option allow you to share the recording with your students, especially for those who may not have been able to be there, but it also allows you to have a record of how that class went so you can look back and take any notes that you may need to take.